Yeah, I just thought I'd um, do a little film, a little video of this, um, what I'm doing. This is off my boat. It's a little um, Jabsco 5088-01000 shower drain pump. It just uh, empties out the last little bit. I'll run it manually just to get the last little bit out of my uh, pump. I've already pulled it apart because it, um, it was all seized. So I've taken all that off in the diaphragm. Let's just, just see how it works. This little diaphragm in there goes up and down. And um, off the end of the motor here. The motor, there's this little um, planetary gear that runs off of that. So the motor spins, turns this gear around, and that spins, and it's got a lug on it. This one here. It's on the end of that gearbox offset and that shaft that's on the end of the gearbox there and as that spin that gar shaft there pushes the little diaphragm in here up and down and it sucks and pumps the water all pretty simple but what's happened why she's locked up is for some reason all the gears have come adrift these little gears there should be three and it's sheared off where these holes are. There's, it should have pins like that. Just take that one out. It should have pins like that. And it sheared the pins off. So there's three gears sitting there, one there, another one there, and one there. And then the center, that center goes between the gears and it drives it all around. So yeah, it all locked up. So. I'm in the process, I've stripped it all down. There's the broken pins. Okay. And that's that comes out of there. That's the shaft. So that's a new pin that I've just made and put it in there. Try and hold this. So yeah, a little gear. That little gear pops onto that shaft. So I've had to make it that's a bigger diameter there and press it in in the back. So and then that shaft goes on there. Sorry about my filming, I'm not, not real flash, and that spins around. There was one one good pin, which um I kept as a sample. And I knocked it out. Where will I put it? Yeah. So that was the good pin. So I kept that as a sample, knocked that out, and I've made that other pin for suit. So now I've just got to make one more. So how I'm doing that, I hope you've followed this is um, up here in the old lathe. This is my wife's lathe. I bought it for her, um, her birthday about 12 years ago. So I've just got an old cap screw. They're pretty tough. And um, I'll just chuck that up in the lathe. Uh, we'll just do that up. Just do that up. There we go. And that's how we do that. I don't know if we can see it up here. Yeah. So what we do is just, um, we've got all the dials and whatever. So we just take a cut. And uh, see how we go. So I'll just face that off.
Stag the little cat there. Keep going like that until um, we get it down to the sides. We'll do the big diameter first. That's the one that presses into the, the boss. And then we'll do a smaller diameter and that's for the gear to run on. Just lock that down for a minute. So I might just pause you here and then I'll turn it on when I've done a bit more. 